Hey! I'm John. Welcome to the podcast. You are listening to Thoroughly Unqualified from August 1997. No no particular date, just August. With our second version, I believe. I believe of Happy Cowgirl, which, as I look at this tape, begins the second side with another version, so that should be interesting. But if you've been listening, you have to realize how much better This is as far as our being able to play together, make a recognizable tune, (laughs) and rock out a little bit with our limited ability. And again, as every single time you hear a tape, you are hearing us at our absolute best we could possibly do at this point, you know? Um, is it good? No. But Mike's telling a funny story, right? Mike's telling a funny story. And we're keeping a consistent thing going behind it. It's a consistently bad thing, but it's there and it's happening and So you get the idea. This is our shitty country song. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, let's uh, let's 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 move forward a little bit. So that's uh, the first song on this tape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember those keyboard parts. Oh yeah, we're still doing it. All right. Uh, we're still doing it. <laughs> Sorry about that, but that's kind of the deal with these things. Uh, goddamn cassette tapes. All right, let's see what we got here. This is entitled Brain Cancer. And you got to realize, yeah, this is probably eight months we've been fucking around, but not nearly as often as we would start to. But that had a feel to it, right? Let's see, we're going to start it again, it sounds like. Oh, I guess they're not going (laughs) to. I think we're making Mike play it again. All right, so that's a little bit of the, you know, pre-play rambling, and then Mike didn't want to play this anymore, but we were liking it, so we made him, you know, and he was pissed at Matt. Matt wanted to keep playing it. He's like, yeah, a little song about scraping Matt's face across the cement. (laughs) But, uh, okay. Now, you, you know, again... It's it's loose, it's rough, it's it's you know, but it's developing a little bit of a feel here, right? Okay, 
I don't think the power flute was the best choice. <laughs> I'm no Jethro Tull with my power flute keyboards, but hey, you know, this is us finding our way. And I think you'll find I made a lot of odd choices in the uh, sounds I used to play on the keyboard. And that's probably uh, something that helped our music change, like the way changing the patterns slowly and moving around will changing the uh, the effects, the sounds you're using. Um, you can be playing the exact same thing with a different instrument on the keyboard, and it's not the exact same thing. Entirely different mood, entirely different feel. Uh, uh, so this is us doing brain cancer. And that's a, you know, it's a thing. Mike's laughing his ass off. All right, let's let's let that down. We'll, we'll move forward. But, that, you know, that had a feel to it. I, uh, a little something happening. But, you know, oh, geez. Stop it. This also, this ca cassette player has a goddamn radio built in, and it's so easy to actually hit, accidentally hit the band, radio band button, and now then you get the radio hiss. And I have to have the tape player at maximum volume for recording. Yeah. And people are fucking texting me and will not stop. <laughs> I just want to make my podcast, man. All right, so um, let's see what we're at. Yeah, let's keep her moving. But yeah, we did that. At, at, uh, and, and interesting thing is, because we're recording everything, you know. Um, as songs started to actually work out, um, we got really good at crafting entire pieces without any real fuck-ups. I mean, long pieces of just sustained playing together and keeping it tight, you know, and nobody fucking it up. And that's, listening to what we're doing here, it, it's hard to imagine down the road. But Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. And the next thing up on this uh, tape is supposed to be called the anthem. The anthem is the anthem. It's a nasty thing. <laughs> it's just ah ah. That's it. But uh, it became the anthem. Let's see. All right. Sounds like we got to a break. Let's see. <laughs> this is the anthem. Um, I think Mike comes in and starts uh, talking and saying st some pretty funny stuff, but uh, there's no keyboards yet. Yeah, 
you get the idea. That's some noisy shit. <laughs> there, he, there he is. Not great, but we're having some fun. I'm going to move that forward a little bit uh, just so we can get into Mike uh, doing his uh, uh, talking thing because he was a special part of this. His ability to do what he did was, just blew me away. All right, so I let you hear some of that. Just <laughs> Spike's fucking hilarious, but eh, we're balls out, just having a blast, playing as well as we possibly can. And this is probably not for anybody else, but for us, this was a blast. Oh my God, we're playing the anthem, and the anthem's just tongue in cheek because the anthem is. Not an anthem. It's just Mike going on and on about how we can play the anthem all night long. And <laughs> okay, this is my keyboard solo. Keyboard solo. Woo! And the thing you hear that holds it all together, one, having a drum machine so goddamn solid, Matt on bass can play the fucking bass. And if you listen to him, he keeps something going all the time. Listen to him play for a minute. Listen to Matt. <laughs> so <laughs> All right, so God damn it. I'm turning the wrong dials. I'm turning the wrong knobs. I'm trying to run my little mixer without looking at it. So, I don't know if you heard Mike's little diatribe there about the anthem, but his voice, the way he used it, really cool sounding. And uh, um, and he often changed his voice some and was speaking in other characters, you know. And, but I thought that this was a big step up. And some of that stuff was fun sounding music, even though it was badly played and shit. It had a fun feel to it. And that's important, you know. But let's uh, move forward. Um, that's the end. Oh, scratching her face. Now, this gets wild, I think. Well, as wild as we could get, you know. I mean, okay, check this out.
Now remember, Mike is making this all up as he goes. All right, so this happened live, all spontaneous. Now, still not good, still not, but Mike's storytelling is, is and the, the vibe we got, even though we can't fucking play, my keyboards are just monotonous, but they feel right for a song called Scratching Your Face. <laughs> Listen. Listen to what Matt's doing. For a shitty drum machine and a bass player and some shitty keyboards, I mean, it's keeping something going. And Mike, Mike works. Mike, Mike always worked. Everything he did seemed to work. And I don't, I'm trying, I, I'm not saying any of this egotistically. It's just how I feel about how things were going down. I, I'm not saying, I'm, and I still don't know if we were ever actually a good band because the music we did was so simple, <laughs> you know, but you can decide that. We never at any time during our Entire thing, I think. Thought we were any good at all. All right, let's see what's up next. I mean, we're still in August, so this is eight months after we started. And you heard those first tapes. Just trying to do something, you know, anything that even sounded musical. And now um, we're here. Oh, and I'm not saying we've come far, but we've come far enough to actually be making music of some sort. And that's a big step for us because we weren't able to when we started. So um, we were getting really excited to get together. You know, the first times uh, it was a real struggle and I don't have a lot of that. I don't think I recorded a lot of it because we were just trying to figure out how to you know, play notes together. And, and uh, it was just, yeah, I, and a lot of times we'd get together and we'd fuck around for a while until we found something, at least just a, a, a groove. We liked a, a few notes we liked and, and then hit record kind of starting again. Okay, yeah, let's just go, go let's go down that road and and go, you know. Uh, let's see where we're at. Okay. There we go. This is called Welcome to America.
All right. I'm not saying that's any good at all. But we are trying. We are experimenting with just the simplest couple notes you can imagine over and over and seeing what we could do. You know, we don't have to worry about, you know, going to the chorus or, you know, playing some other chord change thing. We're just learning to play a couple of notes together. That's all we're doing. But there's something about that, and I think you'll hear it as we go on, that those couple notes simply repeated uh, and slowly changed can be incredibly meditative and uh, soothing. I'm imagining that our music, even the best pieces we did, would probably frustrate musicians because there is no ch changing, you know. It, I don't know. I don't, I don't know m musicians that well, and I've played this for people, and nobody uh, really is engaging with me about it. So um, it may be that this music is just absolute shit, and, and my thinking is completely off. I could be just totally deluded into believing that we've got to be a good band. I'm hoping you'll be able to tell me, because I don't fucking know. All right. So that's just doing what we started doing, you know? I mean, we did a lot of this stuff. <laughs> and it took a lot of it and a lot of re repetition to get good, you know? <sighs> Excuse me while I hit my e-cigarette. Oh. That's the end of that. So coming, that was coming to America, or welcome to America. I, I don't know why it was called that, but hey, if it works, that's cool. Um, let's try the other side. Let's see what we got. I don't know. It says Happy Cowgirl again. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> We'll see if this version's better. Oh. <laughs> I got the sampler. All right, Mike's got a crunchy guitar. Mike will become known for his crunchy guitar. He loves distortion. We all did, though. This uh, second side of this tape is still in August of 97. It's a little cleaner version of Happy Cowgirl. I got my keyboard part figured out, you know. Listen to Matt go on the bass. He made us able to do this because he was so consistent. And Matt never stopped playing if there was a beat, pretty much. He just went. And he went ape shit at times. And you're going to hear some bass playing from this guy that's going to literally blow your mind how crazy good he is. And how he beats the shit out of his bass. He was just playing slide bass with lighters as slides and bottles. And, you know, I mean, and he went crazy. He ended up in, uh, he ended up in just his boxer shorts pretty much every time we got up there. Because the attic was so hot up there. And he would be in just his boxer shorts on the ground. Just beating the fuck out of his bass. But doing it perfectly in time and in tune, you know. I don't know if Matt wanted me to tell you that, but it was a consistent thing. Matt in his boxers at the end of the night, just sweating profusely. All right. 
So that's some more Happy Cowgirl. It's coming along, isn't it? You know, that song is developing into a thing. Ah, oh, we got that again. Sorry. Goddamn static. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't get it. The next thing on this is called uh, Hard to Swallow, and I think this is my thing. Let's see. I I did a few songs where I did some vocals. Uh, oh, we're still on that. Um, and I think this is one where I um, use the sampler. And uh, oh, I, it's called Hard to Swallow. And I, I think it's a, I got so sick of No Fear, the No Fear stickers. And I think I did a reaction to that. But. I didn't do many, maybe three or four over the time we were together where I actually did words and made shit up. Uh, that was Mike's thing. And I think we even got Matt making something up. And, uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, we're still right there. Very, very slow fast-forwarding, rewinding. But I want to try to get through this tape today because, yeah, Oh, my God, that goes on forever, doesn't it? And that's the deal. I mean, the Happy Cowgirl was probably 12 or 13 minutes long. <laughs> and uh, we never thought about, like, shortening them up to make them, you know. No, we did, they, every song we did was exactly the length it needed to be. Okay. This is, this has got to be hard to swallow. <laughs> That's me trying to sing. Let's move forward a little bit. I find that hard to swallow. Yeah, that was me. But I wanted, because I started using the sampler a little bit, and I was hoping to find that portion, because the sampler is, not that it's good, it's just weird. Uh, and it, we were trying different shit, you know. As you got it, you got to use it, right? Uh, it's got to be there somewhere. It, I, I'm not saying it was cool, but it was it was different. So uh, that's my attempt. I don't uh, think it's any good, but it was, you know, I did samples of just saying some stuff and then played them along with it, and that's you know, kind of neat. Uh, why you need a gun if you got no fear? Oh, sorry, I dropped something. All right, so let's move forward. Yeah, I used the sampler a little bit. I found out, found out uh, I didn't like it all that much. Uh, I think maybe it was um, I, I don't know what the term would be. Uh, I found it trite <laughs> or something, uh, uh, or it was non-musical and uh, gimmicky or something, and I. I pretty much went away from that. You know, there may be some more uh, of that kind of thing, but 
probably I I just I I remember just remember going yeah I just want to play music, and I got real weird for sure, but uh, I quit kind of quit that stuff. Okay, this is, oh okay so here's another version of the anthem. So these must be two separate days in August, the first side and the second side. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awful. But the anthem was always supposed to be awful. It's supposed to be a terrible song, but it was our anthem. Intentionally bad, even though we were unintentionally bad. <laughs> That's a bad exception. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that song was intentionally bad, and we were unintentionally bad, so that makes it doubly bad. That's bad, bad. That was still moving. Um, the last thing on this says something completely different. And in parentheses, it says grooving with the Flintstones. Uh, uh, still that one. But I'm curious to hear something completely different grooving with the Flintstones because I can't imagine what it is. I have no idea. Although I wrote that there, you know. Uh, we'll see. Still doing it. And I'm still getting text after text after text. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I put my phone way over there. <laughs> that must be it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the last piece on that tape. I'm going to let that play you play out for you. You have been listening to The Snout. We were a band. My name's John Dundas. This is, uh, what, episode seven, maybe? <laughs> I could have that wrong. I can't keep track anymore. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>